So welcome back. So we are looking at chapter 3-9 uh, and if you want to look at this particular problem just you'll see the link below. Click on that link and you can download uh, this very file and when you go to that website then you go to uh, click on chapter 3 and you'll see all the data files and we're going to be working on 3-9 and that's the Whole Food Nutrition uh, Center. Okay, so what I'm going to do first up is I'm going to uh, copy this. So I'm just going to hit the right mouse button and click on move or copy. So let's create a copy of this and we'll move it right to the end. Okay, then I'm going to blank out everything here as well as the formulas and the constraints. All right, so it's all blank now and I'll just bring over the table so we've got this table here. Let me just copy it over. There we go. So we've got to get our, uh, it looks like we're trying to minimize total cost of mixing a two ounce serving of cereal. And we've got uh, three different types of grain. So grain A, grain B, and grain C. And each pound of that grain is 33 cents. Right? So each pound of grain B is 47 cents. Each pound of grain C is 38 cents. All right, so I'll put that in there. So point. 3, 3, and 0.47, and 0.38. And then I'll do my sum product. And then number of pounds here. And if we want, we can make this a, uh, a fixed reference. There we go. Like so. And we can use this, we can copy that down. Now it's gonna change the color, unfortunately. So we can just make that nice blue like everything else. All the rest shouldn't be in dollars. So we also wanna format this cell. And just make it a number. Okay, and then we can just copy that formula all the way down. And we can just test it, and it's, it's going to the right spots. Okay, so let's take a look at the constraints. So I have the constraints. So this was all given to us, all in terms of the constraints of how much is needed uh, to meet sort of the minimum daily requirements of these various uh, things, such as riboflavin, phosphorus, and other vitamins and, and minerals. So the first one is looking at how much uh, protein. So we want to have a constraint for protein. So we'll do a constraint for protein. And then we'll have a constraint for uh, riboflavin. And phosphorus. Magnesium. Sorry, total mix. All right, so total mix is uh, two ounces and two ounces because everything's in pounds and this was given to us that uh, two ounces is also 0.125 of a pound all right so we, when we um, choose the amount of grain b grain c, c and grain a in our cereal when we choose amongst those and put in the right sort of mixture it all has to when you add it all up together it has to equal and fit into that uh, two ounce uh, uh, serving Okay, so let's do, and, and it looks like they're all, except for the last one, greater than or equal to. So we can do a greater than or equal to. And we could just copy that down like so. And this one is going to be equal to. All right. So protein, okay. Take a look here for protein for A is 22. And that lines up with A. So protein for A is 22, and then 28 for B. Right? So that's lining up for that one. And then 21. And that's got to be greater than or equal to, it looks like, uh, 3 for that one there. And for riboflavin, it's 16, 14, and 25. So 16 for uh, A. For B, it's uh, 14. And for C, it's 25. And for riboflavin, whatever we're uh, going to produce from our mixture of grains, it's got to be greater than or equal to 2 for riboflavin. Uh, next, phosphorus. Phosphorus would be 8, 7, and 9. So 8, 
seven and nine. And just to verify, green C has nine units, green C has nine units. Okay, so that's lining up. And then our minimum requirements is one. So anything at that or above is okay. And lastly, magnesium. So we have five for here, nothing for B. You'll notice that there's no B there at all. That's because there's actually zero units of that. So you can either put a zero there or leave it blank. It uh, will give you the same thing. And we don't need that much magnesium. So it is 0.425. All right, and then lastly, we got the total mix. That means however much of grain A, however much of grain B, and however much of grain C, that should add up and equal to 0.125. All right, so 0.125 a pound, which is the two ounces. Okay, so we should have everything set. Now we should set to minimize. So let's go into solver. All right, let me erase everything on here just so that we can get our practice grabbing the right stuff. Okay, start from the beginning. So the objective cell is right here. So we're trying to minimize cost and we're minimizing. And we got our decision variables in yellow. And in terms of, it looks like we've got uh, two um, different blocks to put in, two solver. So we've got all of our greater than or equal to. And again, that has to be uh, greater than or equal to. And then we have our right-hand side constraints. We'll add that in. And then we got our last constraint, which is an equal. So when we add up our grains, it must equal two ounces. All right, then we'll add that in. Okay, so we got a simplex LP, good. And let's see if we get some kind of solution. So five cents and 0 0.025, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. And that looks to be the same as the answer key. All right, so that's what I'm looking at in this video. And in the next video, you can take a look at low knock oil. And that's going to take a look at how do we take the this amount of crude, three different types of crude oil to make these uh, three different types of blends.